hello everyone welcome once again to my channel um in this video i'm going to show you how to um, create tickets and how to add users and also how to add agents on um, zendesk all right so in the previous video we had a first video where i had an overview uh, before this one so we we saw how to sign in how to sign up on zendesk right we're able to do a sign up so the procedures um the process is everything is already in the first video now when you come again after signing up you come some, maybe some other time to sign in and now i also mentioned don't forget i mentioned that if after signing up and you have an issue trying to sign in probably you get an error message you have to reach out to support click on that help when you see that icon click on the help and lay your complaint to 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 um, zendesk and they would actually go ahead to resolve the issue and also give you um, an access to your account. All right. So now, when you are done um, with your sign up and everything is fine, then you come again to sign in. You see this place. You click on this sign in. When you click on sign in, right, you have this sign in. You see this sign in. When you click on it, you see you have you have to go sign in with the domain that is your company name. This is the company name I signed in with for this particular account. This is for some some other some other persons, right? But this is mine. This is the company name I signed in with. So I must sign in with this account. So this is the domain, all right? The domain name that I've been asked of. So I'm going to sign in with this domain name. Okay. So that domain name. So so um, I must write it. That company name, the domain name. I have to write it. Then it brings me to this page where I have to now input my email and my password. So I just go ahead, input my email and my password. Then I click on sign in. So now we are here and this is getting started, right? And this is my dashboard. This is my dashboard. Now, um, it is important for you to note that, um, in fact, there are some um, basic terms on Zendesk, uh, that is very important that you understand um, what they are used for. For example, we have an agent. Now, if you click on this, get started. This is my dashboard, right? These are tickets that are created already, right? Okay, now I'm going to show you how to create tickets. I'm going to show you that. But before then, if I click on this, get started. Okay, now I'm going to see, add your team. The team, so the host, the, the what do you call it, the, the Zendesk um, trial version has a provision for four agents that you can use for the trial version. One, two, three, and four. You can see here, it says for the trial, add up to 40 members to see how Zendesk works for your business. So you can add four, maximum of 40 members, right? So the agents, so it can be agents, right? Click on, you can see agents or admin. So you can be an ad agent, you cannot add an admin, right? So now I'm going to add like, let's say two agents, all right? So this, this account, right, is right my account and it's my company account and I'm the head, I'm the owner of the account. So I can choose to have agents. Now, who are the agents? That's the question. Who is an agent? So on Zendesk, on um, Freshdesk as well, when we talk about agents, we're talking about someone who is part of the business that handles tickets. So an agent is someone who is part of the business and also involves in handling tickets. So the, the job of the agent is to handle tickets. So he gets complaints or inquiries um, from customers. He goes ahead to create the tickets, right? So he actually handles tickets, ticket issues, right? So that is an agent. Now, we also have what we'll call the end user. On Hotspot, you see uh, the issue of end user. Like, for example, let's say I want to create a ticket. All right. You see a user like, like let's just click on create ticket. Uh, we are coming to that, right? But I just want to show you where you have end user. So now this is request, right? Now add user. Right. This at the end of here, you see this place end user. Is he an end user or a staff member? A staff member can be an agent, right? Or an admin, right? Admin, agent, yeah, right? So now, but 
the the issue of end user right this is the end user this end user now is a customer so when you hear end user on zendesk the end user is a customer who is probably making an inquiry so the, the customer might be making an inquiry or probably trying to re report an issue or making a request right so the end user is the customer so that is that about an end user so now you know who an agent is and you know who the end user is right okay now we also have the administrator right like we just saw now administrator administrator is someone that which is actually probably um um takes care of the the, the entire process he gives um, rights to an agent he can actually coordinate he is involved in coordinating things right so now we let now let's now go ahead to add let us add some agents okay so i'm going to add two agents now for the purpose of this video i'll add two agents so now i go to get started i click on get started right again get started so now add your team members they add your team right so then i go ahead to add um to add an agent so i just go ahead and add the email of the agent right okay so i have added two agents so i'm giving them the role of an agent right so then i click add team add team upon acceptance team members can assess so now the 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 two persons i added now we need to accept right they will need to accept um accept to be Agent, right so we wait for them to accept so what we want to do now we want to go ahead to um create tickets now let me show you how to create tickets now you see up here you have a quick ad here which you can actually use to um you know create a, a ticket right so um if you see if you watch here on this um views you see views when you, when you go to views this is views right you see the ticket that are available here now from my dashboard if i go back to my dashboard from here i click on get started then to my dashboard so now i can also see the, the tickets that are already created here you can see i have three tickets here right you can see here open tickets so you can see you these tickets are actually i'm i'm involved in these tickets that's how you can see me i'm involved then groups i'm in a group so i'm i'm involved like maybe probably having a team so you have probably i'm involved in the team so you can say three now ticket statistics this week here yeah, good bad and solved now um the customers that is the end users have an option to actually rate your response or your um the way you attended to them if they are satisfied or not so so that's why it's very good for an agent to be as good as possible with their jobs because the, the customer at the end of the day will have to give you a review it might give you good might give you bad then if it's solved if if it's solved we'll have it here it's already solved right so these are created tickets these are created tickets now if you look up here you see play this play okay probably let, let, now now these are tickets now i can choose to click on them individually to 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 check what is happening the issues that are actually um on the tickets right so now i can choose to do it on one after the other so if i want to do them if i want to if I, want to, if I want to treat these tickets one after the other, I click on this play. So when I click on play, now the tickets will come one after the other. This is the first one, broken screen. So I can go ahead to treat and do what I want to do on the tickets. I can skip it, right? Okay, I can try to skip it or work on it. When I'm done working on it, I click on next tickets. It goes to next one. I can skip it. If I click on skip, it goes to the next one. So it takes me to the next ticket. So this is next ticket. This is sample ticket created by by um, by Zendesk. So every every new account always has a sample ticket created by Zendesk. So this is so this is next ticket. Now I click, click on skip again. It takes me to the next ticket again. So this is the next ticket. Software bug, right? And this is the description. All right. So I created all these tickets, right, for customer. So now. Um, now, so this is actually the process. If if you want to treat them sequentially, that is one after the other. You click on that. You click on click on them play. Then it takes you. It brings them one after the other on this play. But if you want to take it uh, the way you want, probably you don't want to don't work on this one. You want to work on this one. Just click on it. Okay, it opens. Then you can actually go ahead to 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 work on it. All right. So now I'm going to show you how to create a ticket. 
now if you want to create a ticket you can do it you can do it in actually there are a number of ways right okay let's just go ahead i click on um this um get started right so now you always see when you are opening the tickets they are always the, it's always here i opened this one just now i open this one now they'll be they'll, they'll, they'll be arranging themselves here for quick access all right so i can choose to remove them as well i can choose to remove them okay so now now we have the quick ad this is the quick ad so i just if i take my cursor to this ad now i will see the number of tickets available then i want to add a new ticket i click on this ticket click on ticket okay so then the process begins new tickets so requester now the requester i would probably let's say for example i want to add the user a user actually an end user made a complaint as a customer and everything so i want to add the person i click on add uh, user so then i go ahead to and enter the customer's name and the email address okay so when i'm done entering the customer's name and the email address then i have to tick the end user because the customer is an end user right so then i click on add okay so the customer is added you can see here the customer has been added here so now this is the customer right so then i can assign this um ticket right to i can see now this this is this is um an agent this is me this is an agent so i can just assign to support if i click on this support right it's just add to support support now it would actually include um everyone right in the team but if i want to assign it to a specific agent maybe, maybe to myself i click on this one is it myself now i want to assign it to this person okay this agent i click on the agent's name now you see it's been assigned to this particular agent now followers you can also go ahead search agents right you can decide to um you know go ahead to uh to actually add this same agent uh, so if i have other agents right i can i can choose anyone to follow up on this issue so i can i will also so i'm choosing him as well to still follow up on the issue so if i had other agents i could choose another agent to follow up on the issue okay so but this agent is in charge of this issue while this one is following so he is still following up and also in charge of the issue now also okay so then i can also um, have a tag then i can see here you can see a type now what type of um complaints or inquiry or issue so now is it a question that the customer is asking is it an incident is it a problem is it a task that is given then let's just say it's a problem right then priority what is the priority of the issue what kind of what level of attention is it required let's give it um let's call it a high priority let's um leave it, leave it as, a, as a high priority so then we'll come here to the body we we'll have the subject and the body so the subject is the heading of the issue because now it's a problem what's the heading of the problem and also um description of the problem okay so i have gone ahead to add a subject shipping problem is the subject now this is the description ordered a product two weeks ago but it hasn't been shipped yet order number is this okay so it is actually um a problem which the customer is actually encountering right so this is a problem right so now from this from this uh type type of of um the type now it's not a question it's not an incident it's not a task but it's a problem right so it's an issue so this customer this customer has not received um the the goods so um ordered a product two weeks ago and has not been received so this is the issue we have at hand then you go ahead this is the customer this is the email address of the customer this is the local time then we have um the english used then we can have notes you can also add notes to it right so then um so this is basically what we do for um ticket creation so we have this ticket is already set to be created so the last process in creating a ticket now we is to click on submit as new so i click now on submit as new now the moment i do that ticket has been created once this ticket is being created i will get a i'll get a mail i'll get a mail on my on my mailbox that a ticket has been created on my um my zendesk account so let me go to my mail and let let's see if that happens that way yes this is it has come new 
this is the company I used. I'm using to, this is shipping problem. You can see I can open it. Let's, let me open it. Now you can see this is the problem. Now it has been sent to my mail. So a ticket by this has been created, has been received. It is unassigned. Order a product two weeks ago, but it hasn't been shipped yet. Other numbers. So you can see what we created there. You can see. So assignee, this is the agent we assigned to take care of this. Then this is the requester, that is the customer or the end user, right? The followers, this is the follower. This is um, the group, this organization. So organization is, is not is not there. This is a brand, this is our brand. This is, is a problem, web form, high priority. We can view um, support from here, all right? So let's go back to where we are. So now that ticket has been created. Okay, now back to my dashboard. Now you can see the tickets are now four. It was initially three. It's now four. One, two, three, four. Now ticket has been created. Shipping problem by this customer. All right, two minutes ago, you can see. So this has been created. This is the assignee. This is the person handling the ticket. So this has been created. So this is just the way to create a ticket. Now you can see, I have been able to create a ticket and a user. So, I just, so in, in the process of creating a ticket, I created a user. Now, there is no ticket without a user. Every ticket must have a user. Okay, so because you are creating the ticket on behalf of the user, right? So now, um, at this point in time, I'm going to also show you how to delete a ticket. Now, for example, a ticket probably you have, uh, probably a, the ticket probably you made it by mistake and you don't want the ticket to be in your group anymore. What are you going to do on your ticket list anymore? What you just do? Let's say, for example, this ticket is now broken screen. So let's say I want to take it off. I just I highlight i just tick on the on it right then you can see up here you see edit one tickets yeah one if i if i make it two now it becomes two so you can see two tickets so now i want to delete just one so i just go ahead and click this drop down here then i click on delete i can also mark it as spam right i make it as spam. so do you want to delete these tickets yes i click okay okay you can see ticket two successfully deleted so the ticket has been so this is the way to delete the ticket so now in this video i've been able to show you how to create tickets how to add agents and um i've also shown you how to also add a user okay and then i have shown you around um how to actually go ahead to navigate your get started to add agents right add your agent uh, your dashboard the ticket you can see this is this is it was initially um four right it was i just i just took one off so now it's four now these two tickets are on my name you can see me that is these tickets are assigned to me specifically one two to me specifically. so you can see two me but the group the support group right we have three okay the support group we have um three for the support group so i have three so three so which is one two three tickets are on this group right so when we resolve when we resolve the tickets we get we get um we get here being updated and also um on the views if you go to views you would you would see now on these views you can see we have your unsolved tickets that's mine particularly this is mine particularly too now unassigned tickets zero just so all tickets are being assigned all unsolved tickets three of them recently updated tickets are two of them then pending tickets zero no one is solved all right so then you can see tickets and uh, um deleted tickets one so you see a summary of everything on views so this is where i'm going to um wrap up on this video and in the next video we'll go much deeper to see more things that we can do on on zendesk so i hope um this video has been able to impart to you and um i just like you to click on the like button if it has really impacted you and also if you are not if you have not yet subscribed to this channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that subsequently when we make more videos you will get notified on the videos and also drop a comment if you have a question or an observation thanks for watching and bye for now